Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a shave with West Coast Shaving Pear Burr Shop. Now, this has been all over YouTube at the moment, obviously, all the main artisan, main YouTubers or wet tubers have been sent this soap out, including myself, which is very kind of West Coast Shaving, and obviously Chris Cullen over at Katie's Bubbles and Vida over at Oleo Soap Works. Now, Oleo Soap Works, I believe there's one of them coming as well. I'm not sure what the scent will be or whether it'll be the same scent and I can compare the bases. But I don't think I've actually used Katie's Bubbles shaving cream before. So this is the Jojoba Shave Cream. Is that going blurry? Looks really blurry. Could just with my eyes. Now, Cooling Fruit Barbershop scent. The ingredients on here, as you can see, the labels are really nice, really clean, fresh labels. They're a little bit squint, so it does annoy me a little bit. You know me with my labels, they've got to be on there straight. So there's the ingredients list right there. So the ingredients are stearic acid, water, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, fragrance, jojoba oil, sodium hydroxide, sodium lactate, uh, lactose, lactate, sodium lactate and glycerin. Very small writing, no glasses on. So not much in it, it is barcoded which is pretty good obviously for shops and stores who want to barcode the stuff which is awesome. And then you've just got this lovely clean fresh label. Which looks really blurry, is it? Fucking don't know, looks shit house. But yeah. Four ounces of soap. Now the scent. It's absolutely. I love it. I love the scent of pear. But now pear is the main scent of this. That's what I get straight off the bat, and that's what makes it nice for me. I'm not a big barber shop scent fan. But what I will say about this one is, excuse me, is that it smells. If you've smelled Copperberg cider, pear cider from Copperberg, the Swedish cider maker. That's what it smells like. It smells like pear copperberg. It smells absolutely brilliant. It really does. It's got a little bit of sweetness through the back of it. It's got a bit of powdery note to it. That barbershop thing going on. But the pear is the main element to this. Oh, it smells brilliant. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the face. I had a shower about half an hour ago, so my hair will be pretty much firmed up again. And I'm going to do the same as Gil over at second kind of cool and I'm going to scoop a little bit of this out because it is quite soft don't need a lot just a little bit like that straight away I can actually feel the menthol which is surprising because I can't really smell the menthol it's well hidden in there is the menthol in this did it actually say menthol I don't remember reading menthol does not say menthol on you. So where is the cooling coming from? It's definitely a cooling sensation like a menthol. Oh god this smells really good. It's very slick. It's taking a lot to get it off my fingers. Okay, the brush of choice for today. I had to pull out this brush given that I'm using a Katie's Bubble Soap, or cream should I say, even though it's West Coast Shaving, but it is made by Chris Cullen over at Katie's Bubbles. I'm gonna be using this, the Carnivus and Richardson. Now this is the Katie's Bubbles collaboration brush. It did have a little sticker on here, but I peeled it off because it looked crap. But the brush is lovely, and it's got, as you can see, look at those tips, gel tips. Two band, golden nib finest, I think it is, yeah. So here we go, let's just start putting the water in. Yeah, cooling sensation is lovely. So I don't know whether I've missed something here with the ingredients. Like one of these things is actually a substitute for menthol. I don't think it is. It looks almost to me like it's been missed off the ingredients list. If there is indeed menthol in here, but it does feel cool to the just cool on my skin. Oh, looking forward to this because, like I say, I haven't actually used. There's too much water in the brush.
I haven't used a Katie's Bubbles cream before. So it looks like a soap in the tub, but it's very, very soft. Just like this brushes, the knot in this brush. really airy. I don't know what I'm doing here, doing wrong. Might be too much water, I might just have to beat this to death for a little while. Cooling sensation is lovely. It's just enough. Definitely getting there. It feels a lot better now. The scent's lovely. Now, this lather, if you've used Holy Cow, Holy Cow, Holy Cow, Ariana and Evans, Grooming Department, Vegetal, Talon Steel, No Blotter, all those soaps, Barrister and Man, they give you a very rich, dense lather. Now, this is a very dense lather, but it's very light. It's almost, uh, it doesn't feel quite as, Luxurious on the skin for me. But we'll see how it shaves. I mean, obviously, I'll have this up really well. That's still very eerie. I don't know what I've done here. I don't know whether I've not added enough water. I don't know. It feels like that. Looks spot on. looks the part from a distance but who knows we'll see how we go with the shave so I'm using the car Christopher Bradley razor and I've got the Gillette super stainless which is hanging up on the door behind me vintage blades and this one is on its seventh use so here we go Cooling sensation is spot on. Yeah, it doesn't. It sounds crazy, but it doesn't feel as protective, believe it or not, as those other soaps that I mentioned, the Holy Cow and Noble Otter and stuff. It feels almost foamy. I, I can't really describe it. The ladder. I put a lot of water into that ladder. Very slick though. I don't know what you're doing. 
Right, let's see what this residual slickness is like. The scent's brilliant. The cooling menthol, or whatever's in here. Now, no camphor. It's a derivative, of, derivative, a derivative of menthol, and it's it cooling as well. Yeah, this is really slick. Super, super residual slickness. It'll be excellent for head shaving. Right, let's just see what this lather's like second time around. Really, really nice scent. Scent strength around about five off the top, and a good five when you're lathering up. Now, the ingredients list doesn't say menthol. It doesn't say anything about what's cooling it, I don't think, to my knowledge. So obviously if you're allergic to menthol or something, I would definitely make sure you find out whether whatever's used in cooling in this isn't menthol or is menthol or what it is, because I can't see it on the box, on the tub. That's a really nice lather actually, it really does the trick. It's just lighter than a soap lather or a, some of the tallow formulas that I've used. Not all the tallow formulas, some of them aren't as good as this. I mean just based solely on performance. It's, it's really good performance, but it's not as good as grooming department's vegetal base, in my opinion. I would say it's not even as good as face fat. But of course they're soaps, they're not creams. Creams, are, they, they work differently, they've got different ingredients. One thing I will say about it is it's very slick. So slickness is the key attribute you're after. You'll get it from this stuff. And it's performance spot on, I can't really grumble with it. I'm not grumbling with it. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it feels like to me when I'm using it. The menthol sensation is the cooling sensation. It stays pretty much the same from the first lather. It doesn't actually get any more intense. So if you're not a major fan of menthol or cooling things and the soaps that cool your skin and gets colder and colder, this doesn't do that, it just sits the same, which is which is nice. Definitely an amazing summer scent. You can see that the lather's really nice. But the scent, I don't know who's done the scent, I don't know whether Chris Cullen over at Kate's Bubbles or Vida over at Oleo Soapworks has done this scent, but it is spot on. I'm going to dip my tips and see what happens. Yep, it's just turned airy. That's what's happened. So, it's just a bad idea. So, I put quite a bit of soap on my face. A bit of cream. 
probably put too much water in the beginning. I should have started with a, a slightly less damp brush. Definitely be using the soap next time with a synthetic. I might even use it in my next shave. I'll really enjoy this scent. The Gillette Super Stainless Blade, phenomenal. Yeah, excellent performance from the cream I've got to see, even though that was really watered down. It's very slick, so yeah, you get away with it. The residual slickness is excellent, it really is. Just going to pop a little bit around here. What's left? It actually opens up a little bit the scent on it. The pea is always the, the the main scent that I'm getting, but there's just little hints of powdery notes and a little bit of like, almost like floral, a little bit of woodsy. Really light, but it's there, it just keeps you interested in the scent. On. It dissipates in the water as well when you rinse it off, it just melts away in the water, you're not left with any residue pretty much around your sink or on your razor, which is good. Another bonus. Right, I'll just let that dry in. I'll check the post shave feel while I rinse the brush out and yeah, really airy in the brush. I need to figure out how to lather this stuff right. I'm not blaming the cream at all, it's definitely a lather technique issue. I might just need a little bit more soap on my face or so I might just equip it with a synthetic brush, I know for a fact I will be. Okay, tips on that. Superb. Pierce scent is phenomenal. Right, just rinse the razor off a little bit. There is actually a little bit of build up on the razor. I don't know if you guys can see. Just a little bit, not much. But I've got a pretty much irritation free shave, or as close to it. Post shave, really moisturised. Skin feels really soft. And once again, I'm just getting shaves now at the moment where I'm not irritating my skin, getting all the redness, really red redness down here, which I'm not getting. I've got the odd little bit of spot and redness, but nothing like I used to get. But I put most of that down to this. Moil Grooming Aftershave Splashes. Now this one is Frosted Frankenline, which is a pretty cool little logo on there. You've got the lime in the middle. Now there is orange and lemon and other things in here, but really, to be honest with you, I think there's a bit of wood as well in this one. When I smell this, 
it's just super limey. That's what I get, that's the main scent I get from it. It is very, three splashes, three drops. Oh, tell you what one. Absolutely superb splash. So all you need is three tiny drops in your hand, literally one, two, three, and that's it, it does a full face shave. It also does a full head shave as well, three drops. And like I say, 100 mils of stuff. I've used this one a few times now, it's not even budged really, it's hardly moved at all. The, after sh the alcohol gives you an initial whoosh, burn, and then it's gone almost instantly. Then you get a sort of, but I can't remember if this, what else is in you? There's something else in you. The witch hazel, I think it's a witch hazel. You get a light sort of, light tingling burn that comes after that, really nice. And then the menthol kicks in, and your face is ice cold. And it works beautifully with this pear burr shop soap with the, the coolness of the soap moving on to the frosted Franken-Lime fruity scent of the splash. So, the soap for today was Pear Burr Shop from West Coast Shaving, Jojoba Shave Cream made by Chris Cullen over at Katie's Bubbles, cooling fruit barbershop scent. It's superb, I love this scent and do you know if this is a barbershop scent, this is the best barbershop scent I've ever smelled. By a long shot, I absolutely love it. So whoever's made this scent up, it smells like pear, copperberg, cider. That's what I get from it. That's if I could describe it to someone, giving them something that they can smell around the world, that would be what I would compare it to. It's obviously a little bit more going on in there once you lather up, but that's the main, out of the tub, pear cider, that sort of scent. Beautiful. Labels are really nice, nice and clean. They are all waterproof and... God, it looks so blurry, is not it? Yeah, it's absolutely I don't know what's going on with that. Probably not blurry, it's maybe just my eyes are screwed. The brush for today was the Katie's Bubbles and Cannabis and Richardson collaboration brush, which is a lovely, lovely brush, really nice. Solid aluminium turned, and it's uh, it's just a stunner. The knot in it is phenomenal. It doesn't have much backbone, it's very floppy, but it's so soft to the touch and it makes an amazing lather. The razor was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, C plate, 0.85 blade gap, and the seventh use on one of these vintage Gillette Super Stainless Australian made blades. And finished off today with none other than Moyle Grooming Franken Lime Frosted version, which for me, the splashes are off the charts incredible. And I'm not sure whether West Coast Shaving have them yet or whether they're planning on stocking them, but I think you'd be pretty mad not to have them in your store because for me there's not many things better on the market and I've used a lot of post shave splashes. That feels incredible. Just brilliant. What a shave. So congratulations to Chris Cullen and Vida who collaborated I think over the scent. I think I know it's different soap bases but I'm not sure who's done the scent but this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenally scented. Very very good cream. It's not as good as some of the creams that I use, but I haven't quite dialed this in yet. So give me a few more goes with it with a synthetic and try and maybe a bowl lather and then a loading the brush from the tub and see how I go from there. But other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.